Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I am gonna be showing you how to create the PlayStation 3 background. Just a kind of an effect I've been trying to make uh, by looking at a couple tutorials online and then just combining some of my own knowledge to make this effect. And if you ever played PlayStation 3, I just looked up PlayStation 3 background. This is what comes first, like uh, it's the default background, and it's these cool like twirling ribbons with some stars coming out from behind them. You can change it to any color and it always looks really, really neat on the PlayStation or an HD TV. So I went ahead and created something like this as well. You'll see here it's the exact same. The ribbons here are moving and there's just some stars coming out of it. And it's all with it with stuff within After Effects. I mean, this would be probably about an intermediate to advanced tutorial. So just understand that there's going to be a lot of different effects being thrown into this. But as long as you follow along, you just, you know, keep replaying different parts of the video, you'll be able to get it and it'll come out pretty cool and you can do a lot of different neat things with this. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to create a new composition. Um, exact same, just 1080p comp right here. I'm going to click OK. Then first step, we're going to go into Layer, New, and then Solid. Color does not matter here because we are actually going to be looking at, for a ramp here. Uh, it used to just be called ramp, now it's gradient ramp. So we're going to drag that onto here, and then we're going to choose an end color. This is where you can choose whatever color you want. You don't have to have it as purple. You can choose any color you want. So let's mix it up, and let's go with a really light blue, like this kind of blue. Then we're just going to grab this right here at the start of ramp on the right side, the Y here. We're going to bring that down to give this sort of, I guess you could say a plane, like a horizon, so you know, have like the ground here and the sky here. We want a, a difference. Definitely the gradient's still there, but we want the black to come out as well. So now that we have that, that is going to be our background, so we can right click on that, rename it to background, and then let's get started with these stars. So we're going to go into new layer, another solid, doesn't matter the color as well. We are then going to go into CC Particle World. One of the only times CC Particle World will get you the effects that you want. Um, in terms of particle systems, it's pretty crappy, but when you use it for things like this, it actually comes out pretty cool. Um, so yeah. CC Particle World, we're going to make the, we're going to go toggle modes and switches so that we have mode right here. We're going to turn that into a screen right here. Then we are going to go into grids and guides, and we're just going to turn off the grid right here so we don't have to see that there. We can also, um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, the next thing we're going to do, uh, we can turn off the axis box as well if you don't want to see that there. Um, but yeah, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into... Let's go into longevity is fine. Birth rate. We're going to want to bump that up a little bit. Um, we'll see how that looks in a little while. Let's see. So we're going to want to, first off, we're going to stretch out the radius of the, the X here. Stretch it wide. And then we're actually going to back up the Z. So we're going to push it back some. Stretch back out that X so it takes out everything. And then we're going to bring in the radius here. And if we go into the particle, let's go ahead and particle and switch this to a star. And you'll kind of see what we're doing here. Whoops, not the position of Y. We want to increase the radius of Y a little bit. And what we're doing is we're pushing them back and then kind of bringing them into a nice 3D space. So there's stars way in the background and stars way in the foreground. The next step, let's go into the physics here and let's go ahead and turn off gravity. Let's bring velocity right here to 0.1 instead of 1. And then we're going to bring animation into fractal omni like so and we're going to increase the birth rate even more we want some more stars here um oops whoa 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 <laughs> way too much here we're going to lower that back down to about that's probably a good population right there so we have some good stars happening you can see it start a sort of taking place here next thing we need to do is we need to lower the birth size and the death size so we're going to go down here we're going to go 0 0.02 0.02 or um, actually let's make this one 0.03 so they start off a little bit bigger than they die and you'll see they're all way in the background so what we need to do here is we need to increase the Z radius again bring some of those to the foreground and now we're kind of getting a cool effect here and that's actually looking really really nice so let's go ahead and just change those colors birth color we're gonna go into white and then our death color, we are going to go into the color of our background. So just click this and you can just grab something near the bottom here where it isn't blended with the rest of it that much. And now we have some beautiful stars coming in. And this actually looks, I think, even better than my first one. So yes, 
we have got the stars going. So now let us just grab one more effect here. Two more effects actually, because we're gonna use some turbulent displacement or just turbulent displace here. Um, drop it onto the stars here. Let's rename this so we don't lose it because it's the same color as our background. So we're gonna put this just as stars really quick. So then let's go ahead and close out CC particle world. Then we're gonna go into turbulent displace here. We're gonna lower this way down to 20. And what this does is it's just gonna add a little bit of a sort of a curve to everything. A little bit of randomness, a little bit of craziness to it. Gives it a little bit, just that touch in the right direction. And that's really all we need to do for this right now. Um, so then the next effect we're gonna do is we're going to go with glow. Let's go over here, search up some glow and drop that onto your stars because you know, stars glow. And it already looks a little bit better here. Let's see, we want to, increase the radius just a little bit maybe like 25 um maybe a little bit intenser more intense and original colors yeah that actually looks pretty good i like that so yeah it just adds a little bit of a glow to them makes them kind of appear uh more starry and that is really it for our stars so then next step let's add some cylinders in here and the reason i use that term is because we are actually going to be using cc cylinder so let's go into layer new solid again make sure this time that it is actually this gray over here some gray over here click okay um, we're gonna name this cylinder one okay so then we go over here and we're gonna search cylinder and what should come up is cc cylinder drag that onto here and we get ourselves a beautiful cylinder so let's go into rotation and we are going to go down to the z axis and type 90 degrees here and now it is left to right we are then going to let's see um shrink it down we're going to actually let's extend it out really quick so now it covers the whole thing we're going to lower its radius down some make it a smaller cylinder maybe about that size and then we're going to stretch it out just a little bit more so that it fills up the screen again like so and so now we have the beginnings of what we are trying to get here so let's go into light now and what we want is we want some light near the top of it we kind of want it to just be at the top so let's go into shading here we're going to diffuse it a little more a little less here like intensity, like height, like direction. Let's spin the direction. See, we want that on the top, so right there. So this is kind of where we're trying to get that that gleam right there across the top here. So yeah, let's spin it here. Let's move it around. Right about there seems good. So now we have this cool like gleam going off the top here. And that is looking pretty good. Everything else in here looking pretty nice. If we back this off, we actually get a little more intense metal. If we go forward it's actually yeah just mess around with these settings and kind of find one that feels right to you i think this right here feels good to me um, these settings right here so this is where we're going to start with this one we're going to go into cylinder we are actually going to go down and choose a weird sort of one exclusion here and that's going to give it a, a kind of a cool background where it kind of it, it takes on the characteristics of the background really and now, so let's close out CC Cylinder and let's go into Turbulent Displace again. We're going to drag and drop that onto Cylinder 1. And now you can already see we're starting to get that, that sort of movement here. Now, this was really just fine moving things. Um, trying to turn it, because if you go too high, you get really just weird things that we don't want. So we're trying to get is a wave up and down it's going to be different for every time, but this is kind of the end result we're trying to get. And we can, you know, bump up things by increasing the size or decreasing the size and just sort of manipulating things so that we get a look that we're looking for. And this can take a little while, a little, you know, a bit of moving things back and forth. But let's go ahead and put this on high anti-aliasing uh, just for best quality, which is exactly what it says right there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of looking pretty good. We can kind of move the evolution around, too, to get where we want it to start. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to the start and we're going to offset. We're going to choose this to come back a little bit, offset it a little bit to the left. And that's why we stretched out really far is because if we offset it just a little bit over here, we can click offset turbulence and then drag it out till you know, like 20 seconds and just maybe, I don't know, double it or somewhere around that. Something real slow where I can just move 
kind of through. And now you kind of get this, this, this slow moving thing going through the, the effect right here. Looking pretty good so far. But next thing we need to do is we're going to right click this. And actually, let's go first into search CC. And we got all these CCs right here. And what we're looking for is light sweep right here. We're going to click light sweep and drag it onto the cylinder right there. And you can already see we got a nice lighted area on the right here. So we are going to, let's see, sweep intensity. Let's bring that out. Kind of get a really strong highlight there. Edge intensity, width. Um, you can kind of make it really long or really short. I'm going to make it kind of longer. Uh, actually, let's let's go right around 53. I think it started at 50, so nothing much changed there. And now you can kind of see that as it moves through, the light always stays right here, but the, the effect, it looks like there's a light pointing at this and this ribbon's going through the light. It gives it a sweet effect. So let's go into Cylinder 1 and let's right click on it now. Let's go into Layer Styles and we are going to go into an Outer Glow. We can then go down here into Outer Glow and you can see all the effects here, just Layer Styles, Outer Glow, and we got it down here. Let's change this color as well to the bottom, um, just the color of the scene. And then we're gonna give this one, let's see, we're gonna spread it some, make it a little bigger in size. See, maybe a little bit more spread, a little less spread. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of looking good there. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that for now. We'll just go with that for now. It looks kind of cool. This one's a little bit more intense than my last one, but I'm kind of liking it. So then, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to just Control C, Control V this, and then we're going to take this. So this is now Cylinder 2, so let's rename this to Cylinder two, not W3, two. And so now we have cylinder two right here. And so we're all we're gonna do here is we're just going to start it at a different offset. So maybe like that. And then I'm gonna lower it down a little bit too. So if I click on cylinder, hold shift and bring it down some, maybe even up some. Yeah, maybe like right there. So now we kind of have that thing going and maybe we're going to change the light sweep position. Um, so center it somewhere else, maybe a little farther back. Yeah, we kind of have now a neat sort of movement going in here, but I think both of these are just a little bit too big. So I'm going to lower the radius of this or one of them at least to a little bit like that. And then we're going to go back down to the color and I'm going to make this one a lot brighter maybe almost white to kind of give a cool offset here. So they're not identical. And now you have like these cool metal in the background and let's actually go back into the background. Um, I think it needs to be raised up a little bit. So if we click the background, let's bring this back up some to like right there. And there you have it. The sort of PlayStation background effect. Um, the top one, let me just make sure, I, yeah, the top one should actually be linear, what is this, linear dodge, linear dodge, linear dodge right here, it gives it sort of a cool sheen to it, and actually that really sells the effect right there, um, makes it a lot different, and since it's on top, now it has this cool thing where it interacts with the other one. And yeah, just like that, you have the effect, you can manipulate all these settings and kind of change it how you want it, how you want it to look. Um, I'm really happy with this. You can, like I said, you can change, you know, change any color you want. So I got this one up here. Um, and then, you know, you can have the blue. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks everyone for joining me on how to create the PlayStation 3 background. Experiment with this. It's really fun to drop, drag and drop all these effects on here and just kind of have some fun with it. Um, if you got any questions or comments, suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the links or the comments below. Subscribe to see more Adobe related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.